just like, whoa, this is just unbelievable. Every doctor would want to have a machine like this because how many hopeless cases were out there like me? I'm sure there were tons of them. And so the lady and I decided to form a company to use this technology because she'd broken her ankle in uh, five different places. And they said that she would never walk again. And up until we found this technology, she could hardly walk. Her whole life was pretty much uh, on hold until she could find something that would actually help fix that tissue in that particular area. And so the machines fixed her ankle and they also fixed my back. About two years later, they came out with the other machine, the Myopulse, that we're going to talk about. And that one works directly with the muscles, the ligaments, the tendons, and the cartilage. It deals with the soft tissue. Because what the scientists found is that the Accuscope was incredible on all the different tissues. It uses a square wave. There's different frequencies and different waveforms inside the body. And if you understand how the nerve system works, the nerves have what's called a uh, synapse or a nerve gap. There's a thing called acetylcholine that if you look at all the little nerve cells, they're separated by a certain amount of space. And then there's a thing called acetylcholine where the energy potential increases to a certain point and then it jumps the gap and goes back to the next cell over and then it raises again and then it jumps the gap. So in actuality, it would look like a square wave like this as the potential goes down the nerves. So they found that the acuscope, specifically with that square wave, was very effective on any type of energy flow throughout the body. So they created the acuscope to do the acupuncture points all over the body, the electroacupuncture points according to Vol, the auricular points that were found by the French and also the Japanese and the Chinese, which are the points in the ear. And then Dr. Vol, he pioneered the idea of odontin points. He is able to relate to each tooth a specific set of organs, muscles, um, tendons, and joints. And he found that the teeth themselves were actually little generators of electricity that kept the energy flowing throughout the electrical systems within the body. He came up with the idea of it's called a proprioceptive response. You've heard of those micro piezoelectric crystals? They're like little crystals. When you squeeze them, they generate electricity. Well, that's sort of like what the teeth are. Every time you hit your teeth together, it creates an electrical field that fuels the energy that goes through the teeth and through all these special meridians down to the parts of the body where those organ systems or those particular parts of the body exist. And so he found that by treating the odontin points that he actually saw a huge difference in how fast patients recovered. Because one of the other things that he found too is that a lot of dentists, when they did the root canals on people, they actually punctured the membrane of the tooth on the inside and then the root would actually get infected. And what that would do, that would create pockets of infection right up above the teeth. And the teeth are real close to what's called the blood-brain barrier. So when you get that infection, it shouldn't really be up there. It should be a closed system. The infection would go right into the brain right through the blood-brain barrier and create all manner of different types of diseases, you know, diseases that people have no answers for. Um, years ago, the doctors used to think it was the dentists that were the ones that were compromising the health of individuals by doing those types of procedures because it only takes 25% of a decrease in your health before your teeth start to rot. And for any of the people here, that have ever had problems with your teeth. I know I've personally probably spent close to $50,000 on all the dental procedures and stuff that I've had done on my mouth, all the teeth that had to be pulled out, all the teeth that had to be restored because as a kid I had a crummy diet and I was kind of a sickling and a weakling because I ate sugar all the time. That was my diet and so my teeth were rotting in my head. I virtually had two or three fillings in just about every tooth in my entire body. And I can't tell you how much of a problem that created. There was one time when I was having all these weird problems on one side of my body. And in fact, it was uh, this side here and on this side. And I couldn't figure out. I was in college and I didn't know why it was. I was having problems with my knee. I was having problems with my foot. I was having problems with the muscles in my chest. And it was just like, what is wrong with me? And uh, that carried on for about a couple of years. And finally it got so bad I didn't know what to do. And then one day I was out playing volleyball and I had this horrible pain right up in this area here and so I raced into the, the dentist. It was on a Saturday and they did an x-ray and I had a cyst that was about the size of a quarter that had been created by a tooth that had had a root canal where they used mercury amalgam to seal it off and so it had become infected. 
So when they drilled a hole through the, they had to drill a hole right directly through the bone, the pressure was so great it just spurted out like a geyser. It went like 20 feet and hit the wall. And the guy said, you know, that is such a horrible infection, we're going to have to put a drain in there. Just leave it in there so it can drain and so it can shrink down so eventually we can do the surgery and take it out. Well, I had to keep that drain in for two years. And then finally the cyst got small enough that they could go in and do the surgery on it and take it out. Well, this is before I knew about the acuscope to be able to treat those particular areas. Well, the reason why I'm telling you that story is at that time I had no relationship between the problems with that tooth and the problems that I was having on the left side of my body. Ten years later, after I knew about all this technology, I was uh, flying back from a convention. All of a sudden I felt this pain up here and I noticed that I was having those same stupid symptoms that I'd had ten years earlier. And uh, I went and looked in the mirror and sure enough, here's a red streak of poison coming down from that tooth that had gotten infected again. And it had reactivated those symptoms that I'd had 10 years before. So this time I knew what it was. I went straight in and they did the surgery and took it out and I treated myself with the acuscope. But that was the one thing that really taught me about the interrelationship between the teeth and the rest of the body because at that time we got the charts on EAV and uh, Dr. Vol's work and I went and looked at the chart to see what that tooth was related to and sure enough it was related to all the different areas of my body on this side that were having that problem.